Hey guys, this is Mark Rodriguez. I just came back from the comic book store because it's the first Saturday in May. And you know what that means? Free comic book day! Yeah! So I just came back from Ben Wookie to check it out and it was pretty cool. And first let me explain a little bit what um, free comic book day is. Because most of the people that talk about this, that tell about them and everything, they think you can just go to the comic book store and grab whatever comic books are free. It's not exactly like that. What happens is that every year, certain companies or whatever, they all agree to release certain books like upcoming previews or sneak peeks of upcoming new series or new characters or bringing back the attention to other things and stuff like that, and they're all free. And yeah, they're all going to come with this um, free comic book day logo on top here, so you know that particular book is free. And yeah, there's a lot of them to choose from this year. And um, this time I went alone because Paige had to go to work and everything, so, you know, I went there alone and it was a limit of five free comic books per person, you know, of course, make sure that everyone gets their copy and all that good stuff and um yeah so we had all these books to choose from i could only get five i was alone and everything so i had to choose wisely so yeah there's lots of interesting books here and i'm going to show them in a little bit and some of the books there i mentioned as you can see right here you can see the rack this is most of my record right here they're all of them they're all nice and stuff um one thing i do gotta mention the one that you won't see here in the video is that there's this random one called like zombie tramp or something like that i get a, a guess about a street walking dead girl, zombie prostitute or something, I don't know, I mean, Paige and me, we really wanted to get this book because the morbid curiosity of it, like, what the, what the hell, you know, but I do understand if, um, it's not there, because, or whatever, because, um, there were, some of these books were listed as gold edition and silver edition, so we're not sure if that meant that some of them were going to go to some stores and some to other stores, and yeah, the comic books had stuff like Felix the Cat, Spongebob, and DuckTales and stuff like that, I don't think a book about a zombie prostitute kind of fist there with the, with the other, you know, childish comic books. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, the store was pretty packed and busy. Lots of customers. I'm not really, I didn't really film the customers. I filmed more of the books and everything because, I don't know, I mean, this isn't like an anime con where everyone's dressed up in costume. They're kind of expected to be filmed. I didn't want to be random, awkward dude with the camera filming people just doing their day to day. But yeah, it was pretty interesting. They had um, a guy dressed up as Spider-Man for the kids and everything, so that's that's pretty cool, I guess, you know, and hey, there's a movie coming out that's already coming out this weekend, you haven't seen it already, I'll be checking that out soon, so that was pretty cool, you know, for the kids, and he also had this other girl that was doing, like, zombie makeup on people and doing, like, like, scars and, like, like, you know, I guess, zombie bite blood effects and makeup and stuff like that, and I think she has, like, a website, I'm gonna try to find out what it is, so if, if I can, I'll have the link below to check out her work and everything, because she didn't mention something about, like, a website thing, so I'll try to, I'll try to link and give credit to her and everything. So yeah, basically speaking, this is a great store, lots of books, lots of things, lots of series, lots of like, you know, boxes and boxes full of older stuff there too, lots of cool like statues, they got a little, this awesome Joker statue you can see here based on how he looks like from the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City kind of games, and all these cool things, it's a, it's a cool comic book store to go to, it's worth checking out, and um, yeah, aside from buying the normal comics that we always buy, I got the ones, the uh, free ones, so let's take a quick look at the ones I got this year, check those out. And uh, well, the first one we got, of course, is Garden to the galaxy i just mentioned that already you know new movie coming out i don't know what agent venom is doing there but let's check that out and like i said there's one of rocket raccoon by himself solo story so yeah he's a favorite character he was in um ultimate marvel vs. capcom 3 so yeah and then we got avatar it was funny that a friend of ours is a big fan of avatar so i got this for her and i mean she was even mentioning other comics of avatar and lo and behold free comic book day announces a free comic of avatar so yeah i got that and then we got street fighter from the udon series a preview of i guess more stories to come it's kind of cool though i do know they made i mean the last series i saw was the ibuki miniseries and then there's like an Akuma Origins one that came out not too long ago. So if we're going to make more stories about this, then yeah, go for it, guys. They're very good, awesome art, and they really follow as close as you can to the video game history as possible. And then we got this weird one called Courtney um, Crumrin. I don't know what it's about, but mysterious goth dark girl, mysterious dark settings and everything. So naturally, Paige was interested, so we decided to check it out and see what that's about. And then we got the Power Rangers, the classic, original, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I was real curious to get this. It's just, I don't know, it's just classic stuff. I mean, I'm just curious about like how they're going to do it because the, kind of, the, the series has this old 90s vibe. It's going to be so weird to see the characters have iPhones or whatever in their modern day. And yeah, I know it's cool to have Tommy here as the White Ranger, but I, I wish they would have gone a little further back to when it was just the original five Rangers or sort of the Green Rangers or something. I don't know, but I'll be checking this out. And yeah, I got this um, Spider-Man autograph poster here from the Spider-Man that was there. You know, it's kind of cool. It's a, it's a well 
good, it's a, it's a good poster, so I'll just hang it in the fridge or something. And of course, you also get a, I mean, if you spend over, I think, $25 on comic books, you get a $5 gift certificate. So, here you go, $5 gift certificate. Next time I go there, I'll be able to save, um, five bucks off and everything. Ooh, okay, it expires June 7, but yeah, I'll probably go back there way before then. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing, lots of cool comics, um... There's other other comic books there too. There was like a Mega Man going in the future to meet Mega Man X kind of preview thing. There's um, Teen Titans Go number one, which is exact. It is. It's literally number one, just that for free. So if you already read that comic book or something, you missed out on it the first time. It's free now. And here's a here's a quick look at the article here that Paige wrote about it. So yeah, I mean, it's that comic book for free, I guess. And there's stuff like SpongeBob, because that's never gonna go away. There's one about like Donald Duck or Ducktail, something related to the ducks and stuff like that. And there's, you know, New 52 stuff with Batman Beyond and things like that. And just interesting things. Some original stories, too. So, yeah, it's worth checking out, guys. And it was a lot of fun. It was cool. I enjoyed it there. And hope you guys can check it out. Just basically go to your nearest comic book store, comic book shop or whatever. And they should have that free comic book day promotion. It's awesome. And, well, that's all I got to say for the matter. It was a lot of fun. It was cool. And it was worth checking it out. And hopefully next year we'll be there again for um, free comic book day 2015. See y'all later, guys. Have a good one, and keep on reading comics.